Hi and welcome to Winnie's Edo World. This is the second part of polynomials chapter. Today first we will be discussing about zeros or roots of a polynomial and then we, go, we will go to remainder theorem. So to understand zero or roots of a polynomial there is a clear cut uh, definition for it which says the value at which a polynomial becomes zero is the zero of the polynomial okay we won't understand it when we read it like this but when we connect it with one of the equations or polynomials after that if we read this we will get the idea behind it so let us do that right let us just go ahead and do one particular question so here i have my polynomial 2x cube minus 3x raised to 2 square plus 4x minus 2. Okay, now what I am going to do is to find the value of this polynomial. My first step to, should be to replace x with a value. Is that correct? x is my variable here. So what am I going to do? I am going to replace x with 2. Okay, so let us see when we replace x in this polynomial with 2, what is the value of the polynomial? 2 into 2 raised to 3 minus 3 into 2 raised to 3 plus 4 into 2 minus 2. See guys, solve it with me. 2 into 8. 16 minus uh, 3 into 4, 12 plus 4 into 2, 8 minus 2. Solve it. How much will you get? 4 plus 6, I will get equal to 10. So, what is the value of my polynomial 10? Right? Is it correct? So, here when I replaced the value of x with 2 my polynomial gave me 10 right okay so now what we will do is we will do another equation and see what is the value of that polynomial right so let us just go ahead and clear the screen and I am going to take my another question which is um, x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6. Good. Now let me just go ahead and replace x with 1 here. Okay. I am going to replace x with 1. So 1 cube minus 6 into 1 square plus 11 into 1 minus 6. 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6. What are we getting? Yeah. 1 minus 6 minus 5 plus 11 minus 6, 5, 0. So, what is the value of this polynomial here? 0. So, did we understand anything? The value of the polynomial became 0 when I substituted x with 1. So, what can I say? 1 is the 0 of my polynomial. Clear? It's clear, right? So, we will just try to relate it with that sentence now, that definition. The value at which a polynomial becomes 0 is the 0 of the polynomial. Understood? So now in this case this polynomial's 0 is 1. Perfect. So if we have understood what is a 0, let us do one question. So we will have some questions like uh, 
uh, find the value of a particular polynomial when the value of x is given that is very simple we have just done that you will just replace x is in that particular polynomial with the given value but what if a question comes where they say x is equal to 1 is show that you know you have to show x is equal to 1 is a root of 1 polynomial which is 2x cube minus 3x square plus 7x minus 6. See, if they give us a question like this, how will we do this? They are asking us to show that x is equal to 1. The value of x is equal to 1 is a root of this equation. How will we show that? We will have to equate it to 0. And if our RHS is equal to LHS, we will say x is 1 is the root of the polynomial. Understand the difference between 0 and root. For 0 what we were doing? We were substituting the value and we were finding what the polynomial is giving at the end result. Once we substitute with x. But in root what are we doing? We are equating the equation. So here what I will do? I will substitute x with 1. Okay fine. And see, I'll just go ahead and substitute x with 1. So, 2 minus 3 plus 7 minus 6. Let me just put equal to 0. Or we can just try to find it out towards the end. No issues. 2 minus 3 will be minus 1 plus 7 minus 6. So, minus 7 minus 7, you will get 0. So 0 is equal to 0. Right? So here what is happening? LHS is equal to RHS. Right? So that means what? 1 is a root of the equation of this particular polynomial. This is how you find out if a particular given number is the root of the polynomial or not. This is one kind of question that you may come across. Another question that we can come across is, they can give you uh, roots of uh, a polynomial and they can ask you to find the unknown variable. That is also a very easy question and very common question. So what they will do? They will say if x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 0. Okay two values that is the roots can be more than two depending upon the degree of your polynomial. So here uh, I am saying x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 0. These are roots. Okay. These are the roots of a polynomial which is given to you. So what is our polynomial? It is 2x cube minus 5x square plus ax plus b. So, you would have noticed there are two unknown variables A and B also. So, now we have to find A and B. How will we find that? That is the question. They will give you the value for root and they will say the polynomial is there in front of you. Find the value of an unknown variable. This is also very simple. What I will do? I will say f instead of saying this is f of x because it's using x here. I will say f of 2. And let me just see what is the value of my polynomial. 2 into 2 cube minus 5 into 2 square plus 2a plus b. Correct. So what am I getting? I am getting 2 into 8, 16 minus 5 into 4, 20 plus 2a plus b. Very easy. I am getting minus 4 plus 2a plus b. Just like 
we have come across these kind of questions in linear equations and all earlier this is our equation number 1 so now we have to find another equation where we might get the value of b which we can substitute okay so what i am going to do i will just leave this this equation as it is let me just go ahead and try to find out what is my f of 0 what is it 2 into 0 because whatever it is it will remain 0 only 5 into 0 this is also 0 plus uh, what is it a into 0 plus b see everything became 0 and so what will happen your b will be equal to 0 right because all of them will be equal to 0 only right when we have this as the root that means the value of the polynomial should be equal to 0 so when we equated the polynomial with a 0 here we are not getting anything so b is equal to 0 we will substitute the value of b here and what will we get we will get 2a equal to 4 and a is equal to 2 see we got the value a equal to 2 and b equal to 0 this is these are the questions which can come from zeros or roots they will give you the value of roots and ask you to identify or find the value of a unknown variable or they can ask you to find the roots or zeros of the given polynomial i hope this much is clear to you so now let us go to the next part which is remainder theorem okay guys now comes our remainder theorem again it's very simple there are only couple of steps to find the solution using remainder theorem you all remember division how we used to divide a number like let me just divide 30 by 5 5 6 are 30 and what is my remainder here 0 right and now the same thing if I divide 31 by 5 6 are 30 what is the remainder here 1 so this was a simple case where we are dividing a numeral by another numeral what is the scenario if you divide it if you divide two polynomials we have a very simple method to find the remainder using the remainder theorem what is the simple method uh, so to see that what are we going to do let me just write down a polynomial okay where is my polynomial it is x raised to 4 minus 3 x raised to 2 plus 2 x plus 1 so this is what this is my dividend i need a divisor by which i am going to divide so my divisor is i have to divide this by x minus 1 and i have to apply reminder theorem so what is my first step first step is I will take my divisor x minus 1 and I need to find the 0 what is the 0 of x minus 1 so to find the 0 what I will do I will equate it to 0 so x is equal to what 1 because 1 a minus 1 goes here it becomes plus 1 and I got x equal to 1 very good now after finding the zero of my divisor i am going to substitute the value of one in my dividend so one raised to four minus three into one raised to two plus two into one plus one what am i getting one minus three plus two plus one so what is the value I am getting 1. So what does that mean? The remainder of this particular polynomial when divided by x minus 1 is 1. Easy. Very easy. <laughs> Let us do one more question. Okay. Here my polynomial is 4x cube minus 12x square plus 14x minus 3. I am going to divide it by x 
minus 1 by 2. Let it be a fraction. Right? Fraction also very simple. So what is my first step? Tell me guys. Let me take x minus 1. I will equate it to 0. So x is equal to how much? 1 by 2. Perfect. Now what is my next step? I am going to substitute the value of x. Right? So 4 1 by 2 cube minus 12 into 1 by 2 square plus 14 into 1 by 2 minus 3. Right guys? So 4 into 1 by 8 minus 12 into 1 by 4 plus this I can just do butterfly cutting. I got 7 minus 3. Here 4 1s are, 4 3s are, right? 4 1s are, 4 2s are. So 1 by 2 minus 3 plus 7 minus 3. Is that correct guys? So how much am I getting? Let us solve it, right? There is no space. That's the problem. So let me just uh, delete this part and take my equation. So, minus 3, minus 3 will become minus 6 plus 7 which will become 1 by 2 plus 1. Okay, so what will be it? Very simple, 2 is my LCM, correct? So, 1 plus 2 which is 3 by 2. Simple, this is my remainder, 3 by 2. Even though it is fraction, it was so easy to find out, right? So, we just found out the remainder using remainder theorem. That's it. Remainder theorem is very, very simple. I hope, guys, everything is clear for you. Please let me know your comments. And if there is any doubt, please do put it across to me. And if you like the video, like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.